Well, welcome. Um, love them knives here. Got another group of knives back from testing, and some of this is going to be kind of redundant because uh, a lot of these are Ephraim ground knives that, uh, and they're not the exact same model numbers as I did last time. I kept thinking, what am I doing? Am, am I getting these done twice? But no, these are different ones. Uh, but there was three models on my last Ethan Growl video that I hadn't tested. So they're in this group, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just give you the results of the testing. We've got Proelia knives. We've got Grand Way whatever that is, Rough Rider, Steinbruch, Bruckel, Bruca, Steinbruca, whatever. And of course, the Revo Ness. And I got this, of course, from White Mountain Knives, along with the Warden. Those were two that I thought were good looking Revo knives and thought they were interesting. This is D2. The other one, the Warden, was a 9CR18 MOV. So I sent this one in for testing because this claimed to be D2. So let's start with the Revo Ness since it's right here and it is in the front of my list. Is it D2? And here's our PMI results. Now, a PMI or an XRF, or yeah, I think it's XRF analyzer gun. Uh, well, it shoots x-rays and comes back with the elements, but it won't measure light elements like carbon. So you're not gonna get the amount of carbon, but you're gonna get the other elements that give you the indication of what it is. In this case, this particular uh, gun does have D2 programmed into it, so it'll actually read D2. So yes, this is D2. You see the chromium, about 11%. It's usually called about a 12% type of tool steel, so this is really close. And you can see the vanadium content, not bad, almost 1%. So not bad for this. I've seen vanadium down at 0.3 or 0.2, so this is a higher vanadium content. Regard, I mean, you know, however that helps it in the austenizing process. And, and there you go. I, I like the design of this and it is real D2. So, okay, that's, that's, that's good. Next knife up is the Steinbruch. They contacted me and wanted me to review one of their knives and they gave me a link and it showed the knife to have D2 steel and all this, but they make them with and without D2 steel. When I got it, I found out this is the 8CR13 model, not the D2 model, which they have both on Amazon, supposedly. Um, and so I sent this in for testing, but I told them, no, nah, I didn't want to put this on my channel. It's just an 8CR13 assisted opener. And I was just wanting to check out the D2. Looks like you can go tip up, tip down on this uh, right hand only. And it's got a seatbelt cutter in here, glass breaker, etc. for all that lovely stuff it does. And of course, yeah, it's HCR 13 MOV and there's your, yeah, chromium right around 13%, all that. So, uh, next knife is called the Grand Way. This was kind of interesting. I was just goofing on Amazon because I was probably looking at some other stuff and I saw this. So, Grand Way Knives. But uh, it looked really interesting. Check it out. It's got these wooden scales. There's a bolster, kind of steel bolsters there. Open design. Um, and, I mean, it's not a flipper, flicker, no thumb studs. Just open it like this. It's a liner lock. But I thought, well, that's a great looking design. It is a great looking design to me. And it was like $12.99, something like that. So I got it just because I was curious, is it 440C? And uh, let's take a look at the results. No, it's not 440. Uh, it's probably 3CR or 5CR. That's what it is. That's what the tests show us. So the grand way ain't such a grand knife. 
uh, as far as blade steel. I'm sure you can sharpen it up. You can use it. It's a beater. It's 12 something dollars, you know. So if that turns you on, and it might be interesting to put some stain on those scales and do some different mods on it. Uh, fit and finish is not exactly first class on it, but that might be a project knife that could turn out really to look pretty nice. These are kind of edgy in here, so they need to be these corners inside these liners need to be hit all that kind of stuff so this one is canadian cutting edge jake at canadian cutting edge that's his youtube channel and he contacted me through my instagram direct messaging and said i've had one of these and they say they're vg10 but i don't know if they really are could you if i sent you one could you check it out and he's in Canada, and I know going back and forth with Canada is a crazy proposition. So I said, no, 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 just give me, you know, show me where I can buy one. And uh, and he did, and I got this off of Amazon. It was very, very inexpensive. And the big question is, is it VG10? And yes, it is VG10. Now we've got these Proelia knives and this one is the I think this is the yeah this is the 948 the TX 948 you know Proelia they're part of that jungle knife group and you can look them up online they got their own website that kind of thing but remember they made those big heavy duty knives with the big nice boxes and they gave you the little tools with it and extra stuff and they were really inexpensive and they still have those and so these were on white mountain because he carries pro Elia and they got the jungle knife and they had the was it barracuda and some other ones remember that that was the titanium and all that but so so here here these come i saw these on white mountain i go hmm, it's kind of interesting uh, i'll check them out and they say they're uh d2 steel air hardening tool steel and so here's the other one and uh it's just hilarious because if you noticed check it out same damn knife okay oh by the way up here you can't see this out of the camera range but uh that is hilarious how these knives Exactly the same production, uh, just different brand names on them. So. so these two here, and this is the 903 here, but this is the 948 here, and uh, they're D2. Yes, D2 here, there's your chromium, vanadium, etc., etc. So that's the 948, which is right here. And this... Uh, I don't know if this looks like something, but this to me reminds me of the Ferrum Forge Archbishop, except it's really, really big and uh, it's like $26. So, okay, uh, whatever, but it is D2. So I think some of the knife retailers online, they just, they get a knife from an existing brand where they've carried their knives and all of a sudden here comes something that's a knockoff of another design and they don't realize it. They're busy just posting things and this and that. So, you know, they don't sit there with a mental library of everything that's ever been made. So there you go. Uh, okay. It's, you know, it's heavy. It's, it fills your hand. That's for sure. It's D2. So, and the last batch of knives that I did on my, on my uh, video that was called Ethan Grau, you know, update, it's now D2. Uh, that batch of knives I sent in for HRC testing. So, okay, they were D2, but what's the Rockwell? So, We'll find that out in another video. I don't even have those back yet. Now we're going to start into the EF knives, the F and Grau knives. And this is the F and Grau 226. And that, to me, that's an Isham knockoff design. $26 shooters. Uh, and yes, is D2. Okay, there's your vanadium 0.827. Not bad. Chromium, okay. Uh, 
don't know the rock well so uh and you know i'm gonna only do so many of these even ground knives and and exactly what else i'm gonna do is to spot check i'm gonna buy off of amazon a few knives here and there and then you know just under a different name and send them for testing to ensure that what you're buying on Amazon is what I'm portraying here. And that's why he sent them to me to test. He wanted me to test to make sure they were D2 and that he wasn't getting lied to anymore by where he was, uh, you know, accessing his manufactured uh, knives. Now he's got control of it. So the EF923 is the next one. And that's this one. So they don't have model numbers on them, okay? So, and these are all very similar knives. They're all pretty good size. They're all relatively heavy because they got thick steel uh, liners, but they're skeletonized. So, uh, I mean, and they're D2 blades and it's real D2. So should they be a good little user for whatever? They're anywhere between like, $19.99 and $26.99, I believe. So, okay, you know, that, that's up to you. Various and ascendry type. I mean, you can you can dye these scales. That's kind of fun. Whatever you want to do. EF923, yes. Next, EF924. This, this one. This is what this knife looks like. And this looks like uh hold on is this a purvis adam purvis or isham or a, did they do a collaborative i can't remember but this looks like that except you know it's big and it's 24 bucks or whatever so uh yeah and and, and i had a needless to say i had a discussion with him about original designs apparently now that i've told him we don't really appreciate that uh, that he is going to do all original designs going forward, I will watch. EF927, that's back here, by the way. And that's, yes, that's D2 as well. There's the vanadium content, seems to fluctuate a little bit, but they're really pretty close uh, one to another in the elements. And that's what it looks like. So that's a really good looking knife and I can't place it if it's a knockoff of some other design. Of course, everything's a little bit like a lot of other things, just the way it is. You can only have so many blade shapes, handle shapes, but um, actually I, I do like this here, but this was a little difficult to determine. It said no match here because of the coating. And it's really tough to PMI. Uh, Normally, they grind off the coating or, you know, take it apart, take the blade out, somewhere around the pivot, grind some of the coating off to, to allow the gun to do that. So, next, of course, is a 928, which is, yeah, that's the Archbishop, just like this one here, the Pro Elias. So, you can see that there's a manufacturer that makes them and people that just rebrand them. And there you go with that. And is that D2? And yes, it is. Next, this is the EF931. It looks like something, but uh, I don't find it very attractive. So if this is a copy of something, um, I wouldn't have copied it. Uh, but here it is. It's kind of an interesting blade shape, I guess, and probably for some people. I mean, actually, the design flows pretty well. It's just not my cup of tea. But is it real D2? Yeah, it's real D2. Next one, this is the EF935. Um, I think this looks like an artisan knife, uh, the claw. Uh, and so, yeah, but of course, uh, it's different in price and weight and size and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, but I know Artisan does not appreciate this, and I've talked to them about that before. They were talking about Ethan Grau was knocking off their design. So this is why I had this talk with the owner saying, uh, this, is, this is not good, okay? So, 
uh, original designs. Uh, you know, this is the way you ought to go with this stuff. Uh, you don't need to be doing this, although you're not putting, you know, artisan cutlery. You're not, you're not making a counterfeit, but you're making an, what they call an homage. Okay, so is that a kind word for stolen design? Probably. This is the 936. Interesting looking knife. Uh, I don't know what it is. But yeah, I mean, I like the harpoon blade and everything. I'm just I'm not aware that this is a copy of anything. But there it is in that natural G10. So, you know, for 20 something bucks. Uh, yeah, it's a real D2. Here's the uh, sheet, actually. This is the EF 937, and this is probably one of my favorite designs of theirs. And I don't know if it really resembles anything or not. If it's an original design, they did a good job. But yeah, all these are open. I kind of like a backspacer when I can get it, but these are beater knives, so maybe you want them easy to hose out. And uh, very thick steel liners, so it does add weight. And they're fairly fat this way, but they fill the hand, you know, and they're sizable knives. So there's no gent carry in this pile, but they lock up. I mean, I'm not getting a blade player lock rock. They're centered up. They seem to be solid. I've disassembled some before and, and you know what? I mean, they're, they're there. I mean, they're, they're a reasonably uh, solid knife, especially for the price. Ganzo pricing, you know, and that's the sheet on it. So yes, it's D2. Last but not least, uh, this is a knockoff of the Artisan Shuriken. Although Artisan, you know, gave their consent to have a couple of other companies over in AliExpress or whatever do this design as well. So yeah, it's been around, but this is like twice the size and uh, it's huge it's thick it's a it's a beast of a knife but maybe it's a design you like and it's very inexpensive and yes it's a d2 okay so that's the end of this group here I'm gonna get some of these uh, with HRC testing probably not any of these. I don't see the point after having seven or eight others. Uh, Rockwell tested. I don't think I need to do these. But maybe this Revo Ness, uh, maybe the Pro Elia, and I do have some other knives that I'm going to get Rockwell where I know that the PMI, I know the composition is true, but I'm just interested in what the hardness level is. So I'll be coming back with some uh, videos where I'm showing the Rockwell testing now that we've established the PMI. I hope this wasn't too boring. There was a few brands in here, but mostly this was just another checkpoint for the Ethan Grau budget knives that you can buy. And they're so plentiful on Amazon and a lot of guys buy them or at least email me and tell me they do. So, okay, I wanted to just go down this road again because prior to this i mean we've just found so many where they said d2 but they weren't and the owner figured that out and that's why he contacted me and supposedly has now made a solid change supposedly is going to do original designs going forward and using the right materials that he is disclosing okay and let's hope that continues take care guys you know what we do we love them knives you guys stay sharp